samavilla sitinoa e anuvum saarthaka avasan karagenna I wish to express my regret to the president prime minister the cabinet and the government we have payments of 326 million US dollars due from the bank of Ceylon to the supplier for the fuel shipments we have imported since November we have to pay them about 371 or 372 million US dollars through people's bank as well we call for bids when we advertised for tenders but no one had submitted bids suppliers are not willing to deliver shipments if we don't make payments before Hand. we had to pay about 550 million dollars but we couldn't find around 130 million dollars when we already owe those suppliers around 735 million dollars it is difficult to purchase more shipments from that since our ratings were downgraded suppliers have informed us that they are not willing to accept letters of credit issued by these banks they have left some agreements we are holding talks with other governments we have received a favorable response through some diplomatic missions we will have to face challenges for about a year until we can manage our expenses properly we can't pay 550 or 600 million dollars in the coming months we must reduce spending from about 650 million to 350 million dollars idiri kali duna enisa aniwaryen api ape paribojane 650 hindala 350 dollar million pramanta adu kala yutui Let's assume between 750 and 850 people are in queues to purchase fuel. We will issue a token to all of them. 6600 tokens will be issued to them and we will obtain their phone numbers as they do so. Tokens will be unique to each and every fuel station and cannot be changed after being issued. We will not be able to issue tokens to all filling stations until the next fuel shipment arrives within the next several days. Until the shipment reaches the country, we can send 30 liters of fuel to each vehicle we are hoping to issue fuel to the first 220 vehicles in the queue through this method until the situation is controlled the minister spoke about the method of revising prices we cannot change the prices every day it happens in other countries there were proposals we could have implemented even after 2 weeks but the ioc proposed we do it in 2 weeks we must do it every 2 weeks a liter of kerosene is 87 rupees therefore we are planning to revise kerosene prices soon we are selling it for 87 rupees but it costs 421 rupees has lanka ioc requested control of more filling stations nan apita ioc samagama illimak edipat kala thiyeno The IOC has requested us to hand over 50 filling stations and several government filling stations so that they can distribute fuel through them. In exchange, we have asked them to increase fuel imports and supply. They are importing about 10 to 15% of the requirement. We are planning to present a cabinet paper tomorrow to hand over 200 or 300 filling stations out of the 1190 in the country to companies like IOC to distribute fuel. This is under one condition we are handing them the fuel stations for 6 months to 1 year so that we can import fuel through a credit line ounge samagam walin nayakramayak yatate indana me ratata anayane kirime pasumi yatade why is in the government trying to import fuel from russia na unandu wenna ha kiyana eka waradi mateyak To say that we are not trying is a wrong conception. There are diplomatic channels we need to follow. The foreign minister and the ambassador have tried to do this. We have written to them. The president had made continuous requests. Two ministers will go to Russia tomorrow to take part in talks. Russia avatthaka sakachcha karanna.